I got home and I didn't know them anymore. I couldn't, I loved them, but I couldn't love them. I didn't know how to love anymore. I couldn't deal with it. She knew it would be hard to leave her children. I got a big one for you. But she didn't know coming back would be just as challenging. I felt like a failure coming home. Like I couldn't do anything right. She just scared me sometimes with how bad she would snap, you know, like. She screamed. It's not like a, hey, it's like a, raw. Jamie Holschlag hopes it will be different this time. Raised in a military family, she felt compelled to serve after 9-11. In 2004, she enlisted with the National Guard to work as a medic in Iraq and said goodbye to her two children, Seth, who was nine, and Celeste, who just turned three. I don't remember her saying, I'm going to Iraq, really. I just remember seeing her off, like seeing her leave, you know. For Seth and Celeste, they were saying goodbye to the only parent they'd known. You are a good cheerleader, a good cheerleader. Jamie Holschlag is a single mother. My calling was to go do what I did. I know there's hundreds of women who can't understand where I was or why I could do that, but it was not an easy choice. And I will look for cheerleading, okay? okay. Is that your first choice, cheerleading? Yeah. And this week, she is preparing with her kids to do it again and return to Iraq. So you'll have to be in there when I do that so you have the password to get on Skype. Since 2001, 30,000 single mothers have served in Iraq or Afghanistan, primarily through the reserves or National Guard. For many of these single parent families, the deployments bring huge logistical and emotional challenges. That's what I'm saying. Ms. Holschlag will move her children from Texas to live with her father and sister in Iowa, where they stayed during the last separation. She hopes this deployment will be easier than her first. Reality didn't hit until I got there and we found out that we would be um, IED hunters. During her first convoy as a medic in Ramadi, three soldiers were killed by a roadside bomb. We got mortared a lot, we had incoming a lot. So there wasn't a whole lot of phone calls because I didn't want them to hear and be scared. Have I told you lately you were the best son in the whole world? The 15-month separation took its toll on 10-year-old Seth. I was so worried all the time, you know? I acted up a lot at home, and so I kind of got punished a lot. His grades dropped, and he gained weight. But as hard as being apart was, the transition back was confusing and difficult for both mother and children. I was snapping at them for nothing, and I couldn't stop. And there were so many nights, I just would have rather been back in Iraq, because it was so much easier than it was being home every day, letting down my kids. It's my favorite one. I made it up. Ms. Holschlag was diagnosed with PTSD, and the family went through counseling. They moved from Iowa to Corpus Christi, Texas, to make a fresh start in the sunshine. Slowly, they began to heal. But three years later, Ms. Holschlag made a tough realization. She was crying, and she was trying to tell me something, and. So I asked her, are you going to Iraq again? And she said yes, so, you know. And I cried a little bit, cause, mainly because I was scared and the news just, it was kind of overwhelming. Toss us. Oh, it's 72. It is my call, and I am a single mother. I don't get any child support from either of their fathers, and I am tired of living paycheck to paycheck, and I have to feed my kids, and, um, and I love my job. But after recently returning from a simulated training course, Ms. Holschlag suffered a setback. And Grandpa's already got, listen to me, 
Slow down a second, okay? The snapping has returned. Okay, I gotta get this done, this done, this done. And no, I don't have time for this right now. Or This time she recognized the behavior and called a family timeout. I've got you for one more week. And so let's go have some fun. I may just miss her a lot, but schoolwork's not gonna fall this time because it's high school and it means a lot this time. This guy was this big. Uh -huh. I'm going to have tried everything, everything that I possibly can so that this deployment will be different. But if, if you're asking me if I'm scared, of course I'm scared. Of course I'm, I'm scared about it all, you know? 